Hey everyone, uh, in today's episode of Explore Django, we are going to look at uh, static files, right? So static files are those files that are not rendered by the server that we just grab and use. Typically, we use uh, CSS files, JS files, because those are pre, um, they're just ready for, the, for it to be used and loaded, right? Whereas HTML files on a Django server have to be rendered uh, you know, it fills in this block, it does a whole bunch of other stuff, runs the view to get the data, whereas static files are just static. So let's go ahead and make <clears throat> a CSS file and a JS file, um, just to show how we can uh, load those and get those ready to be used. Um, so here we're going to create a new folder called static, which is pretty standard. Uh, oops, don't want to search, I want to create a new folder. And here I'm going to create a CSS folder and I'm going to create a JS folder, right? So in here, let's go ahead and create my style.css and all I want to do is check to see this loaded. So let's just make the background a gray color. So I have my style here. Um, there's three, three things really. We have to make the style folder or file, we have to change our settings so it knows where to find the style folder. And then in our template, we have to load the file, right? So then in our settings, um, comes with the static URL right here. Uh, for a development server, I typically use static files DIRS. I have better luck with this than static root on production servers. Um, we use static root, but I'm gonna be doing that in a different video. Today we're just going to be talking about on a development server, which I have better luck and I find it easier just to do use static file DIRS, which is a list of different directories to look in. So here if we go OS join or path, we need to put in an absolute path. So we do base dir and static, right? So this base dir is our absolute path of our Django, uh, of our Django project. Um, so we're going to say static there, and then also in our base.html, we also need to load th that file. So let's do load static, and that allows us to use the static tags, and then we will go ahead and put here, uh, we'll do static, so that's going to give me the, the absolute URL to look at, and we're going to do CSS style.css. Okay, and remember, I wrote here, I just did static. So here I still need to look at the CSS and style. All right, let's see if that works. And there it is, our background is now gray and our style is, style sheet is loaded. Uh, with JS, it's pretty much the same thing. Let's do an app.js and let's just do console.log, hello, explore, Django lovers. Okay, so now let's go ahead and load that. Uh, script source. Okay, and then we do something similar. We load um, static JS uh, app.js. Okay, so that should load my JS file too. Here we go. Uh, if we look here, my object. JS got a 200, so it loaded, and it's also it's printing the console. So now I have my JS and CSS folders being loaded, um, and that's great. Now let's look at what we typically do. Um, typically, we're going to be using a framework such as um, Bootstrap or Materialize. I personally like Materialize or Foundation is the other popular one, or whatever you like. Um, so. I personally like foundation. Um, sorry for Spanish. Let's change this to English. Okay. Um, so let's do getting started and let's see what they have. So I can either download it, I can download SAS, or I can use a CDN. The easiest way is to use a CDN. Um, that's not using Django, that doesn't use Django. Uh, just going to comment these out. That's not using Django um, file, so I'm just going to show you this will load. 
that's the easiest way. Um, you can see, oh, oh, I need to also have jQuery. Um, so I would also just do a CDM for jQuery right above it. Um, but yeah, so it loads those. So that's the easiest way to do it. Um, if you want to customize it, you can do it. You can either download the you can download the the CSS. You can download it here, and that'll give you a couple files: a CSS file. Um, it'll give you the CSS file and fonts and JS. So you would go ahead and load all of those. You would put these into your static files. So I put these JS files into my JS folder and the CSS in there. And that would be using Django's static files again. And then like here I would do like uh, CSS materialize.main.css or whatever, right? Um, so that's how you would bring them in. I guess we'll just go ahead and do that. Um, so I'm going to copy. I'm going to copy that. What was my folder called? Or what was that called? Materials. It should be there. And CSS and materialize. Let's just move that. And then I'm going to move that into my static CSS folder, right? So now I have it here. And then I can do that. And that should load. And this should look the same. There it is, right? So now I have my materialize loaded. Um, you can also expand it now, like you would be able to do SAS and expand it. Um, we're going to be talking about that in a later video. I just wanted to show you guys how you can get um, your CSS and JS static files loaded um, quickly and easily on the Django dev server. Um, so hopefully you found out something new today. Uh, until next time, happy Djangoing.